north all the way through it. So first of all, we've got three on the bridge, three at the main observation room, or yeah, observation room. We've got a little one to the right of there, two by the first gatehouse and at the end of this west passage gate, one in the open area west of the entirety of Hyrule Castle. We've got a nice Korok just sort of in the center by these bushes here. At the uh, lockup, got uh, Korok at the end of the gate. By the docks, there's one on the edge of the island. There's another Korok just behind the castle. Another one in the water by the shrine in the northeast corner. Two in the eastern passage between the two, like, walls. Another two in the second gatehouse. And then one on the main bridge. Followed by two in the center. Got all that? Because uh, it's going to disappear the moment we go in Hyrule Castle. First things first, let's deal with the ones on the main bridge. Now, of course, this is a bridge, so you can guess what's going to happen first. Let me at least make sure I'm all set out. Yes. If you didn't work it out by now, then you should definitely by how I'm planning my bows out and apparently climbing every tree. Once again, there is a dangling acorn for you. A little bit more hidden, but there it is. Next, we want to be underneath the bridge again, because there is a flower trial that's going to take us up and over onto the bridge. And I can't take off the core of the map anymore, but that's fine. Next one is on the very top of this first Hyrule Castle gate. There's just a rock above it. Pretty predictable. Now we're going to the observatory or the observation room. Once again, there is another shiny shield for us to target practice with. Giving us another Korra. So for this one, we've got an archery puzzle with the balloon from all the way over there. Wow! That was tricky. And just right of the observation room, there is another uh, archery test. It's just up above it directly, releasing some balloons behind malice spikes. Next up, we're going to go to the eastern portion for that one-off Korok that's by the dining hall. For that, we want to follow the water, because the dining hall is on the same level as the top of this waterfall. And you will find a bombable rock just a little bit to the west of it, of that waterfall. I already blew up the bombable rock when I was looking for another Korok, so here it is, underneath the rock behind it. So next, we're going to go to the first gatehouse on the eastern side of Hyrule Castle. So first, just west of the actual gatehouse is the end of the wall, where you'll find that Korok. So now at the actual gatehouse, you need to go to the very top of its spire. Um, apparently, I guess, the sky is determined by how high up you are, because we're very low in the like, Hyrule Castle progress, but it's getting very dramatic very suddenly. Cool. Next, we're going just past the east gatehouse, but or first gatehouse, but we'll be there in a minute. I don't get how there's thunder strikes coming from nowhere here. Like, when I'm here... I don't know. It's like the Lionel shooting me from an impossible spot. Ha! <laughs> it runs away! <laughs> That's awesome! So now we are in the interior, we are just by here, west of the main entrance. Basically, we are underneath the gatehouse, you can just about sort of see it. And down here, there is a... There's the main hall up there that goes along from the dining hall. You take a left, and it takes you down to this bit, where over there is the armory, I believe. And we have a dangling acorn for the Korok right here. Right, moving on, we're going to go just a bit more north of the first gatehouse. If you can tell where that is. So we're going, uh, like, there-ish, but in the outside, where the southern portion of that map was when I was pointing it. Hard to do the map when it's a little 3D dungeon map. So now we are just a little bit northeast of the first gatehouse. The first gatehouse is literally right there. There is a bumbleable rock way up on this little path here. Break it down, and there's your core rock. Now we are at the second gatehouse. And it's simply at the top. 
Next up, we want to be directly under the gatehouse again, so I'm going to the dining hall just directly south of it. Actually, I've ended up going a little bit east of the dining hall because that interior action has the malice in the way, so we're going through the observation room? Oh. Yeah, actually, I guess so. We need to go- I guess I wasn't at the dining hall where I thought I was, or I just completely disorientated myself and went the wrong way. Oh well, either way, we're going through the observation room to get to it. Right, so now we are once again at the same armory, but a different spot of it? Possib- no, we can't be, but either way, we are actually in the proper armory. I guess beforehand we were in the other armory. Oh, uh, that might have been the guard's lair. Um, either way, we are directly underneath the gatehouse, as you can see, just by- just past the dining hall. In the armory, there is this room just outside of it, on the upper level. There's your Korok. Nice. Right, now we are at the East Passage. First of all, on the very eastern edge of the castle is the wall that's broken down. And on the end of that... Oh, is your rock for a Korok. The other Korok in the Eastern Passage area is on the interior, so give me a moment while I go get to it. Here we are at the very bottom on the east end of the castle is the mine cent look, minecart area, where we're going to want to use the minecart to get where we need to go. Because it's going to take us down to this icy area. You'll never guess where the Korok is. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Moving on, since we're in the centre of Hyrule Castle now, pretty much like up northward ways, we're now going to go jump to the west side of Hyrule Castle, meaning we're going around to Princess Zelda's region. Alright, so here we are in Zelda's room. Let me go put on a Moblin mask so I don't have to deal with this guy. Thank you. Now if we go out to her northern balcony, you can find a Korok that simply has been sitting there. Next, we need to go to Princess Zelda's study, which is just a little bit higher, up on this bridge over here. And for this one, you simply need to climb to the very top of Princess Zelda's study. Nice. Good view. Especially with that dramatic beam. Nice. Right, next, we need to go more into the intricacies of the study. Okay, now just below Zelda's study, there is this little entrance inwards again. This is the shaft that'll take us from way up high to Zelda's room all the way down to the lockup down here. On the way down there is a rock on one of the ledges. There's your core rock there. And at the bottom eventually you can come to this little cave down here where I am in the bottom left of that map that we just saw and there is an egg, or bird egg even. Um, Offering statue. Very different. That's a hard boiled egg. Ah. Well, I just put a normal egg in and it hard boils anyway. Because this is spring water. Right, now we are back along the West Passage. What we're doing is going to the end of the gate. Oh, wow, we just about dodged that guardian. And this is a very clear to see archery test. Right now, we're by the entrance to the uh, castle from the back, at the very bottom, there's a rock right here with your Korok. Higher up a little bit still is a slight interior cave. It's not really, just an interior ex extract here, sure. Above that is your bombable rock with the Korok behind it. And now we're going just past the waterfall on the northeastern corner of everything else. It's a lily pad cork. Probably our final level one. No, I'm pretty sure it is. Who knows? Now there's nothing left but to go to the very end. Right, so here we are above the main ending entrance. You can see just here is a nice little Korok race. We are right at the top, at the very front end of everything, and this guy's gonna make us race. Oops, if I can get on it. There we go, onto this little spire here. Oh, what a view of the whole castle. 
cool. Rightio. Look at that. Just directly above where we need to be. Next, we're going to climb even higher on it. Not going in too closely to us, so as to not actually trigger a story, but... Oh, we can see... Actually, we need to go a little bit higher up. Awfully high up, you can see a bell tower. Or a clock tower. or Yeah, a bell. Oh, which I... With a Korok balloon that I just could not shoot. There we go. And there is one more spot. Even higher up on Hyrule Castle. You knew it was here. Did you climb it yourself? I don't know, but I will. I'm going to need more stamina. But look at that map. You can see just a tiny little yellow dot at the very top of it. That's me. Ugh. This is odd brickwork. You don't see that anywhere else in the game. Suddenly it got very cold. Here, I'll put on my classic warm doublet. <laughs> and sure, let's have a necklace too. And at the very peak of Hyrule Castle Spire is one of the last Koroks ever. Four, four, four. That is all of the Koroks in Hyrule Castle. That is us done. There is a few more Koroks we need to get, though. There is one in the region, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing a couple. But beyond that, we're pretty much done here. So I shall see you in a moment when I work out where my missing Koroks are. I knew it wasn't a perfect plus. Look at that. It's a bit of a jagged X. Oh, well. Oh, I'm missing five. 888 or 885 Koroks. One I know is in the woodland region. Four are missing in all of Hyrule. Therefore, I need to go and uh, do some research. <laughs> 